Hey, how's it going everybody? In this video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about composition. But really what I'm going to talk about is the rule of thirds versus the golden ratio. So what exactly is the rule of thirds? Have you ever come across that grid in your camera settings that has two horizontal lines crossed with two vertical lines, making nine equal parts. So that grid is basically for the rule of thirds. The theory is that if you place your subject along the lines or at the intersecting points, it creates a more interesting image or more tension rather than center framing. The rule of thirds has been accepted by photographers and filmmakers for years. What a lot of people don't think about is this second framing option, which is the golden ratio. The golden ratio comes from the Fibonacci sequence. So the Fibonacci sequence is a series of numbers that coincidentally add up to each other. For example, one plus one equals two, one plus two is three, two plus three is five, and so on and so forth. So to put that into a physical form and how it relates to framing, we would take a one by one square and place that next to another one by one square. Next to that, you would put a two by two square, a three by three square, 5x5, 8x8, 13x13, 21x21. With these squares together, you get the golden spiral. The idea is to line up your subject or point of interest from the very center of the spiral. The golden ratio shows up in nature, it shows up in galaxies, hurricanes, plants, shells. Some say that the golden ratio is better for landscape, while most people use the rule of thirds for dialogue scenes. So I'm sure there are times for both and times for neither. 